Hello and welcome back to Universal Class. In this lesson, we're going to learn about worksheets and workbooks. Whenever you save an Excel file to your computer, or save it using any other method, it's saved as a workbook. A workbook is made up of worksheets. In other words, worksheets are stored in the workbooks, and workbooks are the files that you actually save. Whenever you open a blank workbook, there is one spreadsheet created in it by default. In this lesson, we'll learn all about worksheets and workbooks. Now, in previous versions of Excel, like Excel 2010, they actually used to give you three worksheets by default. Uh, but in Excel 2013, that is a difference. They open up, when you create a new workbook, it gives you one spreadsheet as the default. When you open a new or existing Excel 2013 file from your computer, you are opening a workbook. A saved workbook file would look something like this on your computer. So let's actually save this real quickly. We'll save it to my computer and we'll just say test workbook. And uh, go over to my documents here. We'll go to my documents and this is what the uh, test workbook would look like uh, in here. Um, maybe we could do medium icons. So that's, that's what the workbook would look like on your computer as that icon. So let's get back to Excel here. When you open a workbook, you will see worksheets. This is the this is considered the sheet, sheet one. So right now we're on sheet one and uh, we're gonna just denote it like that. Um, now we're gonna add another sheet. We immediately have sheet two here and we're gonna call this sheet two. And then we're gonna even add a third sheet, a third sheet, just how easy is that? So to get through each of these sheets, you can see them all change here. You know what? I'll move that over here. I'll move that over here. And there we got sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. And all of these different sheets can contain very different data. Sheet two could have numbers. Sheet three could have all A's. And those are your worksheets within the workbook. So those are sheets. Now let's go save this uh, workbook. So we, we save this workbook. We got test workbook uh, as its name. And we have three sheets with random data in it. Now we're going to close it. And so we're going to, we've completely exited Excel 2013. And now we're going to uh, relaunch Excel 2013 and we get the Excel start screen and uh, it's already given us our recent works which is a test workbook. We can click on this to open it. We could also uh, look to our computer hard drive and go to my documents and find it there and click open and then we've now opened up our test workbook. We also want to go over these sheet tabs. We showed you how you can create new sheets uh, by just clicking that plus uh, sign there. Now notice that when I created a new worksheet, it put it in between sheet one and two, which was my current cursor placement at the time. To move a sheet, you can click and hold and drag it. Let's say I want sheet four to be in order here. Let me just drag it one more time over there. So now my sheets are in order. Uh, let me... Uh, so I got sheet one, so I got sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and sheet four. So I'm gonna to go to sheet one. And if I want to rename sheet one here, I can right click on it and rename it to my first sheet. Uh, I can also double click on it to rename it. Renamed sheet. If I decide I don't want this sheet anymore, I can right click on it and select uh, delete. And it'll, it'll confirm if you're gonna delete this worksheet, uh, that can't be undone. So don't delete it if you don't really mean to, but I'm going to really delete it. The other thing you can do is sometimes these sheets 
contain a lot of useful information and sometimes they don't and you want to hide them. You want them to still be there but you don't want people getting confused by looking at them. So what you can do is you can hide them. So you can right click on it and select uh, uh, hide. Now sheet 2 is hidden. Let's actually hide all the sheets. A workbook must contain at least one visible worksheet. So it's not going to let you do that. Sheet 4 is going to remain visible, but if I want to now unhide those worksheets, I right click on the sheet and I say unhide and it gives me a dialog box asking me which sheet to unhide. So I'm going to say unhide sheet 2 and I'm going to right click again and say unhide sheet 3. So there we've learned how to add worksheets like that. We've learned how to delete worksheets, right clicking here and selecting delete confirming it. We've learned how to rename them. You can double click here to rename it. We've learned how to move. We use our mouse to click, hold, drag. Um, we can also move and copy them. Copy it to another workbook. We could say copy this to a new workbook, which we're not going to do, and what have you. And so these are all uh, the things you can do with the sheets tabs that are located down here. So the other thing we'd like to go over, uh, which is very useful, is the hiding and unhiding of columns. So these are all columns. So let's say we have some data here. So we're going to go with column B here. And we're going to actually copy the data all the way here. So we have uh, column A, which is blank. B, which has a bunch of column B data, and column C, which is blank. Now, we can choose to hide column B. So, we right-click on column B, and we select hide. Now, column B is hidden. All right. Now, you can see the columns go from A to C, but where is B? Sometimes it's difficult to figure out how to unhide something because you can't click on it to let it reappear since it's not there. So what you can do here is you can select the two columns that are adjacent to the hidden column. And then you can select by right clicking, you can select unhide and there column B magically appears. Again, right click here on the header to hide to unhide, highlight the two adjacent columns where the hidden column is located, right click on the header of the column and select unhide. The same holds true for hiding rows. So let's go ahead and delete the contents of column B here and let's just do row five here. And let's actually Let's actually do this fancy thing. So what we have here is row five, and we want to hide row five for whatever reason. So we do it just like we did with the columns. We right click on row five and we select hide. Now it's hidden. Now to unhide it, we can just highlight the two rows where row five is hidden, right click here and select unhide, and then it's back. There's a, there's a few other things you can do if you want to hide multiple columns at the same time. What you can do is you can highlight one column, press and hold the control key on your keyboard, and select multiple columns like this. Then right click on any one of these columns and select hide and this will apply the hiding of the columns across all of the currently selected columns. So B, D, F, H, and J will all be hidden. So we're going to say hide, and they're all hidden. Notice that they has all skipped, and we got A, C, E, G, and F. Now we want to unhide all these. We can just click and drag. We've highlighted all of these columns. We right-click here, and we select unhide. And they were all done.